Hey folks, welcome back. Today I am finally finishing up a video I started about three weeks ago where I applied some McGuire's hybrid ceramic wax and some turtle wax ceramic spray coating to a panel. I divided the panel and uh, I applied this over a 48 hour time frame. I applied two coats on each on each side and it's been sitting up now right at three weeks in the garage you can see the debris the gunk on here just from sitting up in the garage uh, so today we're going to look at the water behavior on each and then i'm going to spray some of this purple power massage it in rinse it off and uh let's see how the water behavior continues all right so let's get started here all right, I don't have a control section on this. Um, let's just see what she does. And this is the only camera I have today. This is the McGuire side here. Good work behavior. Rolling right off. Nice beads, nice beads here. Got small and large beads, but they're consistent. Over here to the turtle wax side. Same thing. Good water behavior. Good flow. Good flow rate. On both. Uh, good flow on both. Great flow rate on both. Both of these things are flowing great. All right, so now we're gonna come back and we're gonna apply one one shot of uh, purple power. Industrial strip. Let's see what she does. Right, that's what we're using here. More power, less money, purple power, industrial strength, cleaner degreaser. And I'm not wanting to go crazy with this stuff. What I want to do is I want to, I want to just spritz one on each panel and massage it in. Like that. Like that. You can see the water kind of change behavior. So, I'm going to get my old mitt here. I'm just going to massage these in. Then I'm going to rinse them off. And try to rinse it off and then try to use my microfiber to get the residue off it. see the water behavior is starting to come back even before I wipe it. All right, so let me get my microfiber out here doing this holding the camera. All right, so let's put this thing down. All right, let's kind of get the debris off this panel here. The residue, I guess, from the Purple power. Alright, All right. 
see what she does now. All right, the water behavior comes back. So at this point, I've used industrial strength, purple power. And once I get the residue off, pretty much both of these products, the, uh, the water behavior comes back. Now again, folks, these, uh, these products aren't designed, they're not formulated originally to protect against chemical degreasers and stuff. But they seem to be doing okay against the purple part. I think the flow, the flow rate on both, well, let's see, on the, the wires, the flow rates. It may hinder the flow rate just a little on the Meguiar's. And what I'm looking at, folks, I don't, I'm trying to hold the camera and explain it to you. Let me see if I can do this. I'll show you what I'm looking at. All right, what I'm looking at here is, when I start, when I flood the panel up here, I'm looking for how easy it washes down the panel, but I'm also looking for the, what, what I call dragon tails on the end. I mean, you get and how good they flow on the end. So let's see if you can see them here. Dragon tails right down there. A few of them. And they're just flowing pretty easily. All right, let's check the McGuire side. Just the flood of water here, and then you've got your dragon tails and stuff just free flowing on the end. It's not one mass uh, flow. Almost like little rivers. Alright. Of course, at the very end too, you want to see how well it uh, flushes the panel. It's pretty good. a little bit better there. The uh, turtle wax seems to be a little better on the flood, it, even though it does leave more spots or more uh, uh, water beads. All right, let's try it here. Yeah, the uh, turtle wax is flushing the panel a little quicker. Even when I hit turtle wax last, it, it's the first to get rid of the water. But there, there's still protection on both. Um, you can still see the consistent beating here and here. So, all right, let's hit it again. Again, we're gonna go with one spritz. Rinse it off here. Let's get the microfiber here so we can get the residue out of here. So 
worry about my camera today. slow beating's not consistent as consistent let's check the turtle wax. still a lot better flow off the panel still has some consistency on the beads and when I say not consistent over here if you look at this panel you can see the beads are they look nice, but you can see that they're jagged. The edges of the beads are jagged. Not nice and formed. That's what I mean by consistent. Over here, you got this just a little bit more consistent on the beads. It's starting to lose a little bit of the form, but they're more consistent. The flow. Look at the dragon tail there. Dragon tail's a lot more wide here. Lot wider, lot broader. the flow on the turtle wax side is just a lot so much smoother turtle wax is definitely the winner on this one so far um, like I said, these things set up right at three weeks, maybe even a little longer than three weeks. I apply two, two coats, 24 hours apart, so a total of 48 hours of, uh, of setup time, I guess. Uh, but really, after the second coat was applied, it was three weeks. So, but, uh, but my initial test or my initial application was to set up 48 hours. So, all right, let's get back to this. Going back to this, sorry about the camera again. Going back to this purple power here. I'm gonna do another spritz. Uh, let's, uh, let's massage this stuff in here. Jeez, all right. Let's massage this in. Again. Let's see what it does here on the rinse before I take the residue off. Extremely, extremely flat on the wires. The um, turtle wax seems to be fighting a little bit here. Let's see it. That's before I do my wipe down. Wires is pretty flat. All right. Let's put the panel off in there.
Whoa. Good thing it's an old microphone. The free flow test. Let's try that again, folks. <laughs> Good water flow overall. Better than, I guess, better than no protection. There's good water flow here on the Meguiar's. Not as good as the Turtle Wax. Turtle Wax is definitely still there. The winner, the winner is the turtle wax. There's obviously something still here. Now, how much protection still here, or what? I don't know, but there's definitely still something there. All right, that's that's the end of this test. But for giggles, I'm gonna go get. The Super clean. All right, so this is this is extra footage here. I've got to I got to clean this panel down either way. Anyway, so I figure I would uh, bring you guys along with the extra footage. All right, you can tell this tape's been on here. Wow, it's. Alright. Alright, so let's see how this stuff holds up with some super clean. I've got some future videos coming up, some uh, ceramic coating videos. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use this panel here for the ceramic coating. So let's massage this right on in. Yeah, it's just super clean. Now I'm pretty sure or my opinion here is this stuff super clean is gonna knock both of these completely out. So let's see. You can still see where the tape's on there though, or it was on there. Flowing water better than the wires. Right. Let's go ahead and get the residue off of this panel. And on a side note, folks, this is why you don't drop microfibers on the ground that we use them. Because they pick up things. Things you might not see at first. And that scratches your paint. That will scratch your paint. And the things you can't see.
All right, the, uh, the Turtle Wax Ceramic is definitely, definitely the winner here. It's still reacting, it's still holding, up. still got some protection there, basically, folks. And some of the areas are still real consistent beating. The flow's good, the flow rate's good. Uh, I mean, the Meguiar's still got water sitting there, still flat. This was one consistent sheet, no dragon tails, so I call dragon tails. Now watch the turtle wax. Better flow on the turtle wax. They both taking a hit now. All right, folks, that's it. I am going to break this panel down and apply, bring you folks back in here in the next video and apply my ceramic coating from Mr. Fixit and Carpro. And we'll test those things over the next seven to 10 days. All right, folks, if you would smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the content if you find it interesting. And this, oh, this is what happens when you use your gloves one or two too many times. Again, like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate the feedback, the honest feedback that you guys give me. So if you have any feedback, if you like this content like this, I know this is kind of different. If you like this type of content, let me know so I know to keep this stuff going, all right? Thanks, folks.